Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to show you how to make the most easy and delicious pastry puff breakfast casserole. And friends, if you love toaster strudel, you're going to love this recipe. <laughs> or you have two daughters just like Cloud and I, probably use the whole bag. <laughs> You'll need one box of puff pastry, 10 eggs, 10 pieces of cooked bacon, one package of fully cooked sausage, desired amount of cheese, one tablespoon of baking powder, one can of diced chilies, one sliced green onion, one fourth of a cup of heavy whipping cream, salt and pepper to taste, and two tablespoons of butter. In order for the pastry puff sheet to fit exactly how I want, I'm gonna be adding four inches when I roll it out uh, to each side so that we can come all the way to the tops. And that's just gonna be for our bottom pastry puff sheet. And I'm not looking for perfection, I'm just kind of eyeballing the measurement that I need and I'll be able to stretch it slightly once I place it into our baking dish. And now we're just gonna work on the top layer of your pastry puff. And this one, you just wanna roll out into the length of your baking dish. Perfect, and now I'm just gonna set this to the side while we work on the rest of our ingredients. Go ahead and crack your eggs into a bowl. To your eggs, you're gonna add your baking powder. We rehearsed this one for a while. Yes, friends, baking powder. <laughs> we don't rehearse anything other than baking soda and baking powder. <laughs> <laughs> Cloud has jokes today. Add your black pepper, salt to taste, and mix your ingredients until they're well combined. And if y'all already know why you wanna beat your eggs really good, let us know in the comments. <laughs> beat it, beat it, friends. Beat it, beat nobody it. wants to be defeated at breakfast time. <laughs> Once you've combined your powdered seasonings to your egg, you're gonna add your heavy whipping cream. And if you don't have heavy whipping cream, you can use sour cream, half and half, or just a little bit of milk. Your diced chilies. And those are just hatched green chilies. Yes, they are from a little tiny delicious can. Green onions. Bacon, sausage, and I only sprinkled in a little bit over half of the bag. Now, if you have those teenagers that are really hungry, you're gonna wanna use the whole bag in here. Or your guys' husbands, you know who I'm talking about. Or two bags, you know your family or you have, <laughs> Or you have two daughters just like Cloud and I, probably use the whole bag. <laughs> but right now, we're being a little shy. <laughs> Sprinkle in your desired amount of cheese. Okay, that's the second time you've given me a good laugh. Back to back. <laughs> And go ahead and start combining these delicious ingredients. Just a quick little mix. Doesn't require too much. Baby, you're worth it. <laughs> oh, are you gonna start dancing? Oh, she did it. She started lifting that leg, guys. <laughs> Next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna poke a few holes throughout your pastry puff. This is optional because I want it cheesy and whenever I bite into a toaster strudel, you get a little bit of that creaminess from the cheese. You don't know where it's coming from, but we're gonna place some deli cheese right at the bottom. So you're gonna need about six pieces. And if you have American singles, even better. I run out, but I suggest that instead of your cheddar. It's gonna give you more of the creaminess with your egg. It's gonna be absolutely perfect. And next, you're gonna pour your egg mixture right on over. And are we making this breakfast casserole in the morning? Yes, yes we are. And you can make it for dinner, and you can make it for lunch, and you can pack this if you're on a road trip. It's perfect. 
Looks like a garden salad, right? It's so beautiful. A breakfast garden salad. <laughs> For our top layer of our pastry puff, we're also gonna poke a few little holes. So right when you get to the edges, you wanna pinch it like you would a pie dish, okay? And Muse Club Junior, this is the only time that we pinch. <laughs> My kids like to pinch when they were little. I mean, I think that's most kids, right? No pinching. No pinching. Cloud's so sweet. She ended up buying Bebe uh, a book about hands aren't for hitting. <laughs> hands are not for hitting. <laughs> <laughs> and it worked out perfectly. Well, you know, they pick up habits from other kids too. Yeah. And then at home, we just have to tell them. Really when you were little, did you like to pinch, Cloud? Um, I did. You enjoyed pinching? I did. So she speaks from experience, everybody. I, I do. It can be done. Keep your hands off. That's right. You know where that's from? No. And keep your hands off. No. What's it's from Dirty about? Dancing. What part is that? When he's talking to Johnny. Oh no. Okay, enough with my Dirty Dancing references from the movie, guys. From the movie. So once you seal all your edges together, then you can start adjusting to make it look really pretty when it bakes, okay? What I mean by that, we're gonna allow it to come in the dish. Just like that. Okay, just keep it towards the edges right there to the side. DJ Casserole Mom. Ooh. Spin that casserole. <laughs> I'm surprised you guys don't give me more jokes about me loving casseroles. They do, you just don't read them. I read most of them. You Okay, you're gonna have to start sending me those, Cloud. Okay. Make sure you're placing your breakfast casserole in a preheated oven. You're gonna need to preheat your oven at 400 degrees. And since our oven is now preheated, we're gonna go ahead and place it in there for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, you're gonna come and check on your casserole and you're gonna place a foil over it. That way you can cook it for another five to six minutes and nothing is gonna burn on the top. This part is optional, but I'm gonna make it nice and glossy by just rubbing a little bit of butter right on over. Oh, that smells so good. Yeah. It's breakfast time, everybody up. <laughs> and boom, done, who's ready for a bite? And in our house with most breakfast, we tend to use the birria chili oil and we'll link that recipe in the description for you. I'm gonna need somebody very special to say, uh, Enjoy. Thank you. Mmm. You know, whenever I buy toaster strudels, they're either out or I end up making two or three of them. And with this, I have plenty to enjoy. And thanks to Cloud, she got me addicted to toaster strudels. And now we have a toaster strudel casserole. I hardly ever indulge in any like pre made foods, but toaster mm. strudels are my favorite because of that puff pastry. <laughs> and to all our caregivers, this is an excellent recipe for you because it's super easy to make. Most of these ingredients are common in our household. The only thing that you have to look for is your pastry puff and you can find that in your freezer aisle. Like I said, you guys can always find me in the freezer aisle because I'm either getting juice or I'm getting a pastry puff. Sometimes a frozen shrimp, you know. <laughs> but this is a real easy recipe. Even if you're only using eggs and a little bit of onion uh, to bake this, it's gonna be Absolutely gorgeous. Mm. It's time for you guys to look away because I'm going to get another serving. It's going to happen. As always, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you. And if you need to cheer anybody up, go ahead and make them a casserole. And friends, if you like breakfast casseroles, go ahead and click this link right here. It's going to give you our breakfast burrito casserole. And let me tell you, it's currently our family favorite. And on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Adiós.